I'm Billiam, and we are the Digi Dudes! Thank you guys for watching. So, I'm sorry, I still have a sore throat going on right now. So, if I don't sound great, I apologize about that. But we're still keep on going, dudes. So, this week we're going to be doing a hatch on our... Well, I guess I'm just going to be doing a run. I'm not really doing it with anybody else. Um, but I'm going to be doing on my Pendulum version 2, the... Deep Savers. This is one we've not like formally run on the on the channel before. I've uh, ran it in general, like basically in the background and stuff, but we haven't given it its own video. So we're going to be doing a hatch on this one. We're going to be running them for the first time and doing it a vlog style. I recently did um, a video for another DigiTuber there and a collab with them where we did it all in vlog style and it was a lot of fun. So I liked it. So I'm going to try that out for this channel. And we'll see how we do. So, start off. Start a new egg. There we go. Brand new egg. And with these OG pendulums here, you get a bonus if you shake them a hundred times to your evolution percentage before the egg hatches. So we're going to be shaking this thing up real well. And really crazy. All right, we're hatching. Oh, isn't he adorable? This device has great colors, in my opinion. Great background, great colors. Oh, what am I doing? I'll just feed them on camera here. Just keep on going until it's full. And traditionally, at this point, I would just give them vitamins, but we'll do the actual training for you guys. I believe it's eight for him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shakes. Nope. I was incorrect. It was not eight shakes. We only got two on the super hits, as they're calling them on this device. So, I'll have to play around more um, and try to remember the correct amount of shakes. I might have even miscounted my shakes and got them wrong there. But, as we go through and as we start digivolving and stuff, we'll be vlogging and keeping track of our whole journey here. With our day to day, oh, he wants to call in here. Wants something else. Is he already out? Yeah, he's already out of the strength that we did get. So let's try again here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yup, eight is the right count. I just miscounted before and did the wrong amount of shakes. And when you get them right, hit? you'll get a mega hit. When you get every one of your hits being a double one like that, you get a mega hit, and a mega hit will fill up all your hearts. So we'll go through here. We have a Digimon's age, your DM, zero age, your weight here is supposed to be a scale. We got five gigs, because Digimon are data, and they are run, and they're weighed by the size of their data. We're hunger hearts. We have one empty already. Strength hearts are full. This is your DP or Digimon power. So on these pendulums here, you have a set amount for the day. And if you get a full night's sleep, it'll refill. And then your training and your battles are both using your DP. So you got to be careful and decide on these ones. If you want to train more that day for a certain evolution you need, or you need to get more battles in, for a certain evolution or to digivolve but the great thing with the pendulums are is, is the jog rest feature which we will talk about more when we get closer to being able to jog rest so we're going to end it there for now we'll come back either at baby two or child level not quite sure with it's already kind of late here when we'll be able to get that recorded or if it might digivolve while it's sleeping and i might just wake up at child level all right, guys, so keep on watching, stay tuned, and come along for a journey with us. Hey, dude, so exactly happened what I mentioned. Because we were recording so late last night, as soon as I digivolved into Pokemon, immediately went to sleep, and then I put him in the bed, and I woke up to a Gomamon. So let's check him out. So we've got this super adorable Gomamon here, and... He's doing pretty good. 
His stats overall are doing nice and fair. I do need to get some care mistakes, and I have already been doing my battles. Because with the original devices, the OG Pendulums and the DMs, you do need to get 15 battles in at child level and adult level if you want to naturally digivolve into perfect level or ultimate for you dub fans out there. So I am trying to get a few care mistakes in right now and get things like that because honestly, we're going to be forcing Golmamon to go down a darker path here. So with that, keep on watching. I'm going to go grab some lunch at my favorite grocery store. So let's go check it out together. So that was an absolutely awesome lunch. If you guys were curious on what I had, it was kimchi fried rice and was absolutely amazing. All right, so Gomamon and I are very full now. So let's go back to talking about Gomamon himself. So the way we ended up getting Gomamon was no care mistakes, basically. He's the good care Digimon on this device. And when you're asleep, you don't get care mistakes. So I woke up to a Gomamon, like we said. But we haven't actually talked about his attack, which looks amazing. So it's going to be eight shakes. And right there, we have the marching fishes. In my opinion, the best looking attacks animation on this device mega hit eight shakes like i said there that's what we need for golemon now like i said it can get a little tricky depending on who you're trying to digivolve into to get that balance of um attack was a training in and battles in if you're trying to digivolve to perfect level naturally but because the way you digivolve into adult level is by getting your care mistakes and the amount of training you do successful training so every time you get a double attack is considered successful so that's going to be it for gomamon and i right now i've actually got to get back to work my lunch break is over so we'll be joining you guys back again when we hit adult level and reveal who we end up digivolving into see you then hello hey dudes so we digivolved into Octomon, oops, there we go, or Octomon for the English dubs there. So let's check him out, talk about him a bit, and then we'll go on to the fun adventure. Mario hat. He's got a Mario hat. So we've got Octomon here. Like I said, we're going for more of a darker evolution on this one because I'm there's one Digimon that I've never raised on this device that we're shooting for, which is our next evolution. So hopefully we can get there. All right, let's check out Octomon. We're three years old, 25 gigs. Full hunger, full strength, down a little bit of DP, but not much. We've got a 100% win ratio with 33 battles in. So that's what we needed with our 15 at child level, 15 at adult. I always go a little over to make sure. And I use the Acom Wiki app to uh, kind of beat up on a punching bag to guarantee my wins when I do something like this. And then now this actually tells you if you can battle and if you can jog rest. Both circles are open. So that means I can jog rest with this guy, but we're not going to because we're going for a natural evolution. Now let's check out his attack. He takes five shakes, so hopefully I can count them right this time. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, I heard it, I didn't get it in. Right, but we do see the animation. It looks cool, he shoots a bunch of ink out like he does in his gun. And I got zero. He's all disappointed in me. Looks cool when he's angry though. All right, dude, so like I said, we're gonna try to do for a natural evolution here. If for some reason I can't get it, we can always jog rest and kind of do it that way. But again, there's one Digimon I've never raised on this device, so I'm hoping to do it because I've been going through all my pendulums and raising every Digimon on every pendulum I own because I'm just going for it. Why not, dudes? Yeah. So, we actually have a gift card to use up, so we're going to go to GameStop. 
because we weren't regretfully able to digivolve naturally. But we, we are going to jogress! We're going to show off how to jogress here and what goes on with that and these OG devices. So we're still at Akuma. for some reason. He does look a little angry, but that's just kind of his design here. So the way you guys know that we're not going to digivolve naturally here is because those hunger hearts are going to start dropping really rapidly. And they've been dropping all day today. So... As soon as Debbie Dude came home from school, I wanted to jog rest him to make sure we can digivolve and we don't lose our dude. Now, we were hoping to digivolve into Marine Devamon, the only Digimon that I have not raised yet on this device. And also he's awesome. And also he's awesome. So, I've been going through all of my pendulums here and trying to complete every one of them. And I'm you almost there on most of them. Did he complete all of the Nightmare Soldier? Um, I did complete the Z Nightmare Soldier, but the now, Wind Guardians Pendulum. I've raised everybody on the original version 1 Pendulum. I've about, raised everybody on the original version um, 4 Pendulum. How about the Nightmare Soldier? Not the Nightmare Soldier one yet. I've not raised everybody yet. And on the Pendulum 20th, there's still a lot of guys on there I haven't raised. That's kind of like my next one I'm moving over to after this. There's only one Digimon on here that I haven't raised, and that's the Marine Devamon. But we're still going to Digivolve. We're still going to continue on, and we're going to show how Jogressing works. So, let's take a look over here. Now, in order to Jogress, you have to have Max DP. I fed him um, a few pills in order to get that DP back up. It's ever for every four pills you feed them, it'll be one DP you gain. So now that we're back up the max DP here, we're going to be able to jogress. And when you do jogress, you're going to lose all of your DP. And we're going to show that here. I've got my ACOM here already set up. And I'm using the ACOM Wiki app, which is a really helpful app. We have an older video on it from when it first came out, explaining what it is and how it works. And I use it all the time. You can just pick it up in the App Store. It's not a problem. And it's um, made by Humulo, so you know it's a good good one to use. Okay, so I've already got it synced up here and all set to go. We're going to go over to Jogress now. There we go. Connect them up. All right. Here we go, we're jogressing, and technically we're jogressing with a Coagumon code. And we digivolved into Dagumon! Who's Dagumon again? You remember him? We did a whole episode in the Dark Ocean, and who's oh, the ruler of the Dark Ocean? Dagumon! Exactly! Now, on these original pendulums here, not every Digimon can digivolve naturally. Some of them can only digivolve by jogressing. Now, Dagumon is one of those Digimon. He can go to perfect level, I mean, can go to ultimate level or mega for the dub fans, but it's only through Jogressing. He can't Digivolve any further naturally. And like I said, you're going to end up using up all of your DP now. So, for the rest of today, I'm going to have to end up giving Dagumon vitamins to get him to go through the rest of the day, but that's okay, because it's not really going to take much. And then tomorrow, I'd be able to Jogress again into our final form on this device. Now, I'm probably going to do that one off camera and then surprise you guys tomorrow with a Jogress Digimon for our final evolution. And somebody I think is cool, not a lot of people really like this Digimon, but stay tuned, keep on watching, and find out on who that Digimon's gonna be. You ready, David Dude? Yeah! Okay, dudes, so we are back now. 
But regretfully, we've got some sad news. So... He died. He died. Dagumon died. Um, I was being a bad tamer. Pico Devi Dude got really sick. So I was home alone with him all day while Devi Dude went to school and Mommy went to work. And I was taking care of the little dude instead of this little dude here. So regretfully, I let Dagumon die by not taking good enough care of him while I was taking care of Pico Devi Dude. But we do have a cool sticker to put on the counter still. Since we're doing a Deep Savers one, I went with the Seedramon sticker. What do you think about this one, Debbie Dude? We can find a cooler one. You think we can find a cooler sticker? Yeah. I don't know, this one fits theme though. Yeah, but what if we got a Dagumon? If we had a Dagumon sticker, that would be cool. Because we All just right. raised some Dagumon. Hey, it is. We need to actually raise the Seedramon this time around. So I'm going to come way around over here and we are going to put Seedramon right up front over here and then coming back around over here and ta-da! New sticker! Alright guys, so I've had a lot of fun running this device with you guys and being out and about more than usual. If you guys enjoy that, let me know down in the comments there if you guys want to see more content like that and more of it. And with that, as always, if you enjoy what we do, make sure you giggle blast that like button! And touch the video and subscribe on down below! It helps us out a ton! Thank you to everybody who likes, comments, subscribes, watches. You dudes are amazing! If you guys enjoy, like I said, enjoy this type of content, make sure you drop that giggle blast there. And make sure you leave the comments down there, because it lets me know, and it lets YouTube know that you enjoy what we do. And special thank you to these dudes over here, our Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome! If you guys want to help support the channel and help support the content that we create, make sure you go down the link below there and hit our Patreon. Go check it out. All right, guys. With that, a special thank you from me, my family, to you. Have a digitastic day! Peace out.